Hi guys, it's uh, Roger here at about.uk. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to do a small pitching video on the uh, Quest 5 meter canvas bell tent. So firstly, uh, what I've done is uh, just uh, light out the, uh, the ground sheet. Um, so the ground sheet comes detached from the fly sheet. Uh, so I've got the ground sheet light out first. Um, then we've got our poles, our bag of pegs that you get with it, and then the canvas. Um, also in the canvas bag comes a nice instruction booklet. Um, so you've got everything in there and uh, it's nicely in the bag. Um, so we'll give this one a go and uh, see if we can put it up for you. So what we do first uh, with the bell tent uh, is just go round and uh, the pegging points on the ground sheet and just peg these down so that we've got a nice secure ground sheet. So it'll just take me a couple of minutes just to go round and put uh, put the pegs in. So the purposes of putting the pegs in first into the ground sheet is uh, to a, make sure you know where the ground sheet's going to be. Um, but uh, we do it all around to give the make sure the ground sheet is nice and taut. Right, there we go, so that's the, uh, the ground sheet out. So then our next little task is to get the canvas out of the bag and uh, roll that one out. And this one is a uh, sample model tent. Um, so there is a chance that uh, a few things differ slightly. Doesn't happen very often. Um, but I do need to uh, just point that out. I won't be able to see very well from the camera, um, but basically the fly sheet now, the canvas, actually zips to the ground sheet. So there's this zip all the way around the ground sheet. Uh, there's a, two zips at the front, which is uh, for the ground sheet to fit to the canvas, uh, and then the doors to um, uh, zip uh, closed at the bottom of the, uh, of, of, of the tent. Um, there's some little pockets that you'll notice uh, on the ground sheet and these take the poles for the door when the uh, when we come to put the door up so uh, we'll just go around now and zip the fly sheet to the to the ground sheet i'm going to start over the back here Now just going to, whilst it's in this position here, uh, we've got the fly mesh of the doors. That's got a zip at the bottom. I'm just going to connect the zip of that up so it's a little bit easier. Because there's two zips here, I do need to make sure that we get the zips in the right place. Um, so, uh, because the fly mesh is on the inner side, I've got the zip to the in the closest to the inside of the tent zip and then the door on the one closest to the outside uh, now it does come with uh, pre-attached guy lines and they've got this uh, nice rope style guy line so uh, really nice and sturdy and uh, nice big uh, guy line runners on it as well um, so uh, that's a really nice uh, right, nice job so what we're going to do now and this is the reason why the ground sheet's pegged first. We're now going to put the uh, the pole in situ. So uh, nice to sturdy pole. Uh, it's got suckers on either end. It's also got a little D ring here. Um, so we need to make that sure that that's in its uppermost position uh, because if uh, you were to have an inner bedroom uh, go into this one, uh, then that's the hook place for the uh, for the inner bedroom. Uh, right in the middle of the bell is uh, a pocket here. If you can see this, this one here, a nice big reinforced pocket right in the middle. Um, basically, that's where we're going to uh, head for uh, to put the pole inside. So I'm now going to try and work my way inside the tent, taking the pole with me, just taking that guy line out of my way.
tent is slowly taking shape. There we go. So that's the, uh, the pole in position. And you can see from that that the, uh, the tent is uh, pretty much starting to stand up now. Then we've got uh, a pole here. That basically creates the door. We'll just clip that one together. As uh, once we've got this one in place, I just need to put, drop a guy line in and uh, guy it out. Now this one here is, goes inside. It's actually got a little eyelet uh, through the canvas just there. And uh, there's a little spike on the top of the pole. So uh, we're going to uh, make sure that we get the pole uh, in that position there. And then as I mentioned earlier, there's some little reinforced places that uh, the end of the poles just fit in uh, in the ground sheet. And there we have the door in position. I loosely pegged this because uh, you're probably going to need to adjust it very shortly. It's only to keep things up whilst we're uh, pegging it all out. Right, now we can just go ahead using slightly bigger pegs now. I'm going to go around and start putting the guy lines out. And this is what tensions the tent up and uh, makes the tent sit correctly. There's a nice amount of space on the guy line runners to give you uh, plenty of adjustment. Uh, these black panels that you see on the side, uh, that's a ventilation panel. They just zip down, I've got a waterproof cover on the inside. So it just zips, zips down and we'll just show you that later. It's nice to see a tent that comes with a, a really good set of pegs. So that's the, uh, the guy lines done. Just then got a little bit of extra pegging to do. Um, where they've got the uh, sort of valance that comes down these bits here come down and over the ground sheet just to ensure that the water's running off and away from the tent so these have got a, a pegging elastic now I'm always a believer of pegging everything out as best as you can the point of view if there's a pegging point and there's a peg you peg it out uh, it's always better to uh, make sure that he's uh, put down take that little bit longer to put your tent up and make sure it's put uh, put down properly just in case the weather should turn a little bit nasty and uh, things start flapping around if you've done it to begin with then uh, hopefully you wouldn't get caught out with uh, a windy situation that's the last peg in the back so now we'll take you through uh, a little walk around this uh, quest five meter bell tent so this is uh, produced from the quest tech 100% uh, breathable cotton canvas that they use um, so being a canvas tent, uh, like I say, it does breathe better than a polyester tent, uh, reacts better in uh, sort of weather conditions. Um, you can see also today that uh, it's uh, been relatively windy, not hugely windy, but it is there's a little bit of a breeze. Um, but the, uh, the canvas itself just sort of tends to ripple in the wind rather than um, actually sort of flap about like a polyester tent would. Um, now you can see up at the, the dome top there, there's uh, ventilation in the very top. So even though this is a breathable canvas, um, it can still be susceptible to condensation. And uh, this needs to be uh, 
you know, worked out the fact that it is condensation where you have um, a a warm surface meeting a cold uh, a cold outside surface um, you can uh, still get uh, condensation and this is uh, not to be confused with uh, the tent leaking itself so uh, we'll just take you for a, a little walk inside first thing you can see so uh, this is the big metal pole in the middle and that's the little uh, D bracket that you can see up there that if you had a um, an internal bedroom uh, that would hang off of that uh, and then uh, there's some uh, pegging points just around the, the bottom there um, that uh, the bedroom would fasten to some little storage pockets in here uh, and this is the uh, little ventilation panels so uh, they will undo just to give you that uh, that ventilation the poles have got cups on the either end of it uh, of rubber uh, to make sure that there's no wear um, in uh, the material whether it's uh, the top of the material uh, or the bottom of the material and again you can also see the ventilation panels up in the top of the dome um, really great space uh, let's say it's five five meters in diameter um, so uh, a good space inside here plenty of little storage pockets around uh, that's the main pole and that's the little uh, pockets that the pole sits into so that concludes our video um, of the uh, quest uh, five meter bell tent um, so if you've uh, enjoyed our video then uh, please uh, hit like uh, or possibly even subscribe to our channel our youtube channel outabout.uk if you'd like any further information on the uh, quest tent products um, there's several tents in this range of uh, their bell tents um, then please uh, feel free to contact us either through our um, website uh, which is outabout.uk or you can contact either of our stores the camping and kite center in raglan wales and devon outdoor and camping supplies in Barnsville, north devon 